Stop. Don't skip because today I need to share something urgent. For the past few weeks, I've noticed some strange things happening around you, things that just don't add up. It's become clear that you're under surveillance, and not just by anyone, but by a secret society tied to the music industry. They're watching every move you make, trying to control what you say and do. You didn't want to believe it at first, but the signs are undeniable. This isn't just paranoia, this is real. And I'm about to expose everything they don't want you to know. Stay tuned, because this goes deeper than you can imagine. The first card, the Empress, indicates a strong link to the music industry. For some of you, there's a strong connection here you might be involved in the music industry or connected to someone who is. Whether it's through singing, writing, playing instruments, or producing beats, your throat chakra and voice might be your gifts. For someone out there, the music industry might even be watching you closely. Now, let's get more into this. I'm picking up on something significant happening around legal matters. There might be a court case or some type of legal proceeding related to the music industry. You could be receiving legal paperwork, an offer, or a contract soon. There's definitely something involving the judicial system and the music industry. For some, it could even involve a lawsuit. I'm also seeing an investigation someone in the music industry might be under scrutiny, or perhaps you've been under surveillance. But don't worry, good news is on the way. If you're an artist or entertainer, someone in the industry is watching you closely, and this could lead to positive developments. There's also something about a secret society popping up. This could be an organization tied to the music industry, possibly linked to groups like the Illuminati or Freemasons. This secret society seems to have connections to the court system, and it looks like something significant is in the works. You've been under some kind of investigation, but it's about to bring you some good news and karma. The energy is shifting in your favor, Wheel of Fortune vibes here with good luck and fortune coming your way. Something is fated to happen, and it's going to be a big surprise. Your table is being prepared, and this secret society might be extending an invitation for you to join. There's a plan for you, and it's about to unfold in a surprising and exciting way. In the intricate web of the music industry, unseen forces are at play, maneuvering in the shadows where the public eye rarely ventures. Imagine this, you've been attracting attention, more than you even realize. Your talent is undeniable, your uniqueness stands out, and your energy is nothing short of magnetic. But recently, there's been a shift, a feeling, a presence that you can't quite shake. It's as if invisible eyes are watching your every move, observing from the shadows. This isn't just paranoia, there's something far more significant at work. You are under surveillance, but not by any ordinary group. This is a secret society, one that operates behind the scenes, influencing and shaping the music world to fit their hidden agendas. They've taken notice of you, your potential, your power, the influence you could wield if brought into their fold. You are no longer just an emerging artist, you've become a subject of intense scrutiny. They're studying you, analyzing your every action, every word, and every performance. They are meticulously considering what role you might play in their grand, covert scheme. To them, you represent more than just talent. You are a potential key to unlocking new avenues of control and influence within the industry. This society doesn't merely observe, they plan, manipulate, and orchestrate events to ensure their dominance remains unchallenged. The feeling of being watched is not merely a suspicion, it's a reality. They are gauging your loyalty, testing your resilience, and watching how you handle the pressures of your growing success. Each decision you make, each connection you form, is being carefully recorded and evaluated as they contemplate whether you will be an ally, a pawn, or a threat to their carefully constructed empire. As you continue to navigate your career, be aware of the subtle forces at play. The path you tread is lined with opportunities, 
but also with unseen dangers and powerful entities with their own agendas. The question that looms now is not just how you will navigate the music industry, but how you will maneuver through the intricate, shadowy world that has taken an interest in you. Your next moves will determine your future, both in the industry and in the complex game that's being played behind the curtain. The music industry is a vast and enigmatic landscape, where the glitz and glamour often conceal the deeper, darker layers of power and control that lie beneath the surface. Within these hidden layers, a secret society operates, deeply embedded and influential, quietly shaping trends, molding careers, and even steering the destinies of those who rise to prominence. They move in the shadows, unseen but ever-present, and now, their focus has shifted to you. What does this newfound attention mean for you? It could be a golden opportunity, a chance to ascend to heights you've only dreamed of, or it could be a stark warning of the dangers that come with such attention. The path ahead is fraught with choices, each one pivotal, and every step you take will be closely monitored. Your undeniable talent has propelled you into the spotlight, but now, it is your decisions that will dictate the course of your future. Will you rise to the occasion, seizing control of your destiny and navigating the treacherous waters with wisdom and foresight? Or will you find yourself ensnared, consumed by the very forces that seek to manipulate and dominate? In this world, vigilance is not just an asset, it is a necessity. Trust your instincts, for they will be your guiding light in the midst of uncertainty. Remember that not everything is as it seems, behind every opportunity may lie a hidden agenda, and behind every ally, a potential adversary. You are in the spotlight now, a key player in a game where the rules are constantly shifting, and the stakes are higher than ever. The journey that lies ahead is one of immense promise, but also of profound potential peril. The choices you make will define your path, whether you emerge victorious, carving out your own legacy, or whether you become another cautionary tale in the annals of the industry. Prepare yourself for the challenges to come, for in this world, only those who are ready for anything can truly thrive. This was always meant to happen, this was destined. The concept of fate appears twice in this reading, emphasizing that this is something preordained. However, something unexpected is about to occur, involving significant figures or higher-ups. A secret society is preparing to make you an offer, and there's a revelation on the horizon, something is about to come to light. This could be an aha moment, where suddenly everything makes sense. God's favor is evident in your life. You may have tried to break into the music industry before, and it didn't happen according to your timing. But now, something is fated to happen, it was always meant to be yours. You've been prepared for this moment, and it's finally arriving. Some of you are about to receive good news, possibly from the music industry or a secret society, and it's all interconnected with the industry, the courts, and this society. You possess a divine gift, and now is the time for it to shine. Let's pull some tarot cards to delve deeper into this music industry connection. The Ace of Cups appears, hinting at a new beginning, followed by the Five of Wands, which represents the competitive nature of the industry. The Queen of Wands suggests that despite the competition, your creativity and talent will help you rise above it. You're the one who stands out for the job, and you're about to receive an opportunity, potentially involving court paperwork, a contract, or some legal document that brings you good news. Your creativity is your strength, and it's about to lead you to success in the music industry. This is why so many people don't last in the industry, especially women. The Queen of Wands here suggests that this message might be for a female artist. Many female artists struggle to maintain their place in the industry because they aren't true creatives. But whoever you are, you're different. You are a true creative, this is what you do. The Queen of Wands is all about making magic, and that's exactly what you do. Whether it's in music, styling, or any other creative endeavor, you have a unique ability that sets you apart. Nobody can do what you do. 
You've outshined the competition because you were the chosen one. Going back to what I said earlier, many artists, especially female ones, don't last because they lack true creativity. Take Cardi B, for example. There's been so much talk about how she hasn't released an album in years. On the other hand, look at Nicki Minaj. She's still on top because she's a true creative. Nicki can write, and that's what keeps her relevant. Cardi B is an entertainer. She came from TV, and while her personality is magnetic, when it comes to music, she isn't a true artist. But you, you're different. You are a true artist. Good news is on the way for you, and it's about to be revealed. The sun card shines bright, signaling positivity and success ahead. With the Queen of Pentacles in the chariot, this good news might also bring financial prosperity. You're not just making moves creatively, you're about to see tangible rewards for your talent and hard work. Keep pushing forward because your moment is coming, and it's going to be big. This is going to pay off financially in a big way. The Sun card is here to confirm that good news is on the horizon, something that will bring you immense happiness. Whatever this is, it's substantial, especially in the material realm. The Queen of Cups suggests that this news will stir deep emotions within you. The Devil card indicates that this is tied to the energy of the entertainment industry, a powerful, magnetic force. You've always been destined to be part of this industry, and the High Priestess reveals that you've been hidden, waiting for the right moment to emerge. Now, let's talk about what this might mean. You may find yourself needing to take some sort of oath. Don't be alarmed by this. For some, this could mean becoming involved with powerful groups, perhaps even joining the ranks of the Illuminati, a secret society, or the Freemasons. This might sound intense, but it's part of the journey you're on. The King of Pentacles has appeared again, emphasizing that something significant and financial is about to unfold. Someone has been negotiating on your behalf, preparing the way for you. This person, whether a manager, financial advisor, or lawyer, is coming in with resources, a contract, or an offer of assistance. They are about to step in and provide the support you need. This situation involves paperwork, likely related to a contract that has financial implications. The presence of a secret society is confirmed by the Knight of Swords, they're on their way. You might soon receive a visit or communication from someone representing these powerful groups, perhaps even from those with significant influence, like the Jewish community known for their strong presence in the industry. This is all unfolding quickly, so stay alert. You're about to enter a new chapter, one filled with both opportunity and challenges. The stakes are high, but with the right guidance and support, you have the potential to reach incredible heights. You might receive a visit from a higher-up or influential figure in the industry. This is a sign that your table is being set for something substantial. The chariot card indicates that a solid offer is coming your way, something you've been waiting on, possibly for years. This could even include receiving a new car as part of the deal. The presence of both the Knight of Swords and the Chariot suggests swift, significant changes, particularly financial ones, are on the horizon for you. You may be feeling stressed about the situation, especially if there are concerns or anxieties about a potential contract or deal. The Nine of Swords shows your worries, but the Four of Swords advises you to take a step back and rest. Don't let stress cloud your judgment. The Hierophant card indicates that this is related to a significant contract or legal matter. It might seem overwhelming, but it's important to understand that this opportunity, though it may require an oath or commitment, is ultimately part of a divine plan. God's favor is evident in this situation. You might have many options and offers coming your way, reflecting your numerous talents and skills. The Seven of Cups suggests that you possess a diverse array of God-given abilities and opportunities. When you are trusted by God, you are granted more gifts and opportunities, 
reinforcing the idea that this offer is a positive step aligned with a higher purpose. This contract or opportunity, especially within the music industry, is meant for you. Despite the competition, you've proven yourself to be exceptional. The Queen of Wands symbolizes your unique talent and magnetic energy, setting you apart from others. A secret society or influential group is interested in you, and you might hear from them soon. This could involve legal paperwork or a major financial deal, potentially worth millions. Remember, this deal is likely to be substantial and favorable, not a typical 360 deal. God's influence is guiding this process, ensuring that the right people are involved and that you're protected. However, be vigilant and read the fine print of any contract carefully, as represented by the Queen of Swords. This is a pivotal moment for you, filled with potential and promise. Embrace the journey, stay grounded, and trust that the opportunities coming your way are part of a larger, divinely orchestrated plan. Think of the sun shining above a big, open field. Just like the sun is always there in the sky, giving light and warmth every day, God is always with us. Even when clouds cover the sun, we know it's still there. In the same way, even when we face hard times and can't see Him, God stands by us. He is always there, just like the sun shining above. Today, let us explore the unshakable presence of God in our lives. Understanding His guidance, drawing strength from Him, and learning how to live in the light of His unwavering love and support. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, in Isaiah 41 verse 10, we are reassured, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words are a powerful reminder of God's constant presence and protection. Just as the sun's rays reach out to touch the earth, God's hand is always extended to us, offering strength, guidance, and a steadfast presence in every moment of our lives. With this divine assurance, let us explore the depths of God's ever-present support. Exploring how His unchanging love and strength are our constant companions on this journey of life. Now, let us seek to understand the dynamics of God's presence. God's presence in our lives is an ever-present, life-sustaining force, much like the air we breathe. Invisible to our eyes, yet absolutely essential for our existence. The scripture in Acts 17 verse 28 highlights this truth, for in Him, we live and move and have our being. This profound declaration reminds us that our very existence, every movement, and the essence of our being are deeply intertwined with the presence of God. It's a presence that doesn't fluctuate or diminish. It's constant, unwavering, and always available. We may not always perceive it through our physical senses, but it's as real and vital as the air that we depend on every second of the day. This divine presence goes beyond mere existence. It is the source of our strength, our joy, and our peace. In every challenge we face, God is there, upholding us with His righteous right hand. In moments of joy, his presence amplifies our happiness, reminding us of His everlasting love and care. In times of sorrow or uncertainty, His presence provides comfort and assurance, a reminder that we are never alone, never forgotten. God's presence is not just a backdrop in our lives, it is active and dynamic. It interacts with our lives, shaping our journeys and guiding our paths. It's in the quiet whispers of our hearts, the sudden insights during prayer, the unexpected blessings that brighten our days, and the strength we find in moments of weakness. And every step we take, God is there, walking alongside us. His presence is a constant reminder of His unending love and faithfulness. As we grow in our faith and deepen our relationship with God, our awareness of His presence becomes more profound. We start to recognize His hand in the intricate details of our lives, seeing His work in the beauty around us, in the people we meet, and in the situations we encounter. This awareness brings a deeper sense of peace and contentment, knowing that in every moment of our existence, we are surrounded by the loving, sustaining presence of God. So, how about God's presence in difficult times? In the midst of life's toughest struggles, when the weight of the world seems to bear down on us, it's easy to feel isolated and overwhelmed. The challenges we face can cloud our vision, 
making us feel as if we are wandering alone in an endless night. Yet, it's precisely in these hard times that God's presence becomes most tangible. Psalm 23 verses 4 to 5 offers profound comfort, saying, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. These words paint a picture of a protective shepherd guiding and guarding his flock. Similarly, God walks beside us, his presence a reassuring touch in times of fear and doubt. He is the steady hand that guides us, the comforting voice that quiets our anxieties, and the unwavering light that shines through our darkest hours. His presence transforms our valleys of shadows into journeys of hope and resilience. He doesn't promise a life free from difficulty, but he assures us of his constant companionship and support through every trial. This divine companionship is a beacon of hope, reminding us that no night is too dark for his light to penetrate and no journey is so treacherous that his hand cannot guide us through. God's presence in our difficulties is not only a source of comfort, but also a wellspring of strength. In moments of weakness, when our own strength seems to fail us, his power is made perfect. My friends, the struggles we encounter can often be the very catalysts that deepen our reliance on God, drawing us closer to him. As we lean into his strength, we find an unexplainable peace and resilience that carry us through. This peace does not come from the absence of trouble, but from the knowledge that God is with us in every circumstance. His strength becomes our shield, His wisdom our guide, and His love our sustaining force. Furthermore, God's presence in hard times shapes our character and refines our faith. Just as gold is purified through fire, our faith is strengthened and refined through the challenges we face. Each trial presents an opportunity for growth, a chance to develop a deeper trust in God's plans and purposes for our lives. These experiences teach us patience, endurance, and hope, molding us into stronger, more compassionate individuals. As we walk through these valleys hand in hand with God, we emerge not only unharmed, but also enriched, carrying with us a testimony of His faithfulness and a renewed spirit of resilience and hope. Next, let us look at recognizing God's guidance. God's guidance in our lives often manifests in ways that are quiet and unassuming, yet their impact is profound and unmistakable. Similar to a gentle breeze that we feel subtly yet surely, this guidance can come in various forms. Through the words of Scripture, the leading of the Holy Spirit, the counsel of a trusted friend, or even through the quiet stirrings of our hearts. Proverbs 3 verse 6 instructs us, In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. This scripture speaks of a partnership with God, where our acknowledgement of His sovereignty opens the doors to His guidance. It's about trusting in His comprehensive plan, even when the road ahead isn't clear to our eyes. Recognizing God's guidance in our lives requires an attuned sense of spiritual awareness. Similar to learning a new language, the language of divine communication. Often, God's guidance is revealed not through dramatic or spectacular events, but in the quiet, seemingly ordinary moments of our daily lives. It might be found in the consistent themes that emerge in our daily devotions, the quiet conviction felt during prayer, or the unexpected words of wisdom from someone we meet. These instances, though small, carry with them the profound weight of God's direction. Proverbs 3 verse 6 is not just an encouragement, but a directive to actively involve God in all aspects of our lives. By doing so, we open ourselves to the myriad of ways in which He can guide us. Also, recognizing God's guidance involves an element of patience and waiting. Unlike the instant communication that we've grown accustomed to in our digital age, discerning God's will and direction often requires us to pause and wait. It's in these periods of waiting that our faith is both tested and strengthened. It's important during these times to remain steadfast in prayer and anchored in the Word of God. As we wait, our spiritual ears become more attuned to His voice, and our ability to discern His guidance improves. This waiting is an active engagement in seeking God's will, remaining open to His timing and methods. God's guidance often aligns with the gifts and talents He has bestowed upon us. These abilities, though they may seem natural or innate to us, are divine blessings designed to lead us towards God's purpose for our lives. When we use these gifts in service to others and to glorify God, we often find that His guidance becomes clearer. The intersection of our passions, talents, and opportunities to serve can be a powerful indicator of where God is leading us. 
It's a harmonious blend of our deepest joys and the needs we see in the world around us. Guided by the hand of God, recognizing God's guidance is a multifaceted process that involves staying spiritually attuned, patiently waiting on God's timing, utilizing our God-given talents, and also engaging with other believers as we navigate through life's journey. These aspects work together to help us discern and follow the path that God has laid out for us. Let us look at some biblical examples of God's guidance. The story of Joseph and Genesis is a compelling testament to the intricate and purposeful guidance of God. Joseph's life, marked by betrayal, injustice, and hardship, could easily be seen as a journey of misfortunes. Yet, through it all, Joseph remained steadfast in his faith, and God's guiding hand was evident. From being sold into slavery by his brothers to being wrongfully imprisoned in Egypt, Joseph endured and God used these very experiences to prepare him for a greater destiny, becoming a ruler in Egypt, saving many from famine. Joseph's story, found in Genesis 37 to 50, is a powerful reminder that God's guidance often unfolds in ways that we might not immediately understand. It teaches us that our current struggles or setbacks are not indicators of our final destination. God is at work in our lives, weaving together every experience, every challenge, and every triumph to fulfill His graceful and purposeful plan for us. Another profound example is the story of Moses, called by God from a burning bush. Moses was guided to lead the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage. This journey was filled with obstacles and challenges, yet at each turn, Moses followed God's guidance, and through him, God performed miraculous deeds. These stories from the Bible encourage us to trust in God's guidance, knowing that He is with us every step of the way, turning our trials into testimonies and our challenges into channels of His blessings and glory. And this is why we need to draw from God's strength. Drawing strength from God is a foundational aspect of our spiritual journey, especially in moments when our own strength seems insufficient. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This scriptural promise isn't about possessing an unending supply of physical energy or intellectual capability, but it speaks to a deep, more profound source of strength, a spiritual fortitude that comes directly from our relationship with God. This divine strength is what empowers us to face life's myriad challenges with courage and unwavering faith. It's a reminder that our abilities, when coupled with God's power, can carry us through any situation. This strength from God is particularly evident in times of trial and adversity. It's easy to feel strong when things are going well, but true spiritual strength is most visible in moments of weakness when we're faced with obstacles that seem insurmountable or when we're grappling with problems that appear unsolvable. It's the strength that God provides that helps us to persevere. This strength allows us to remain steadfast in our beliefs even when they're tested and to exhibit grace and forgiveness in situations where it seems hardest to do so. It's a strength that doesn't just help us endure, but enables us to thrive, transforming our trials into testimonies of faith. Also, the strength we draw from God is not just for our personal benefit. It also equips us to be a source of support and encouragement to others. Just as Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians, this strength is shared so we can bolster others in their times of need. When we lean on God's strength, we become conduits of His power, offering hope and resilience to those around us. Our ability to extend compassion, offer help, and speak words of encouragement is amplified by the strength we receive from God. In this way, our struggles and victories become shared experiences, creating a community of faith that is strong and supportive. In essence, drawing strength from God means recognizing our own limitations and willingly placing our trust in His infinite power. It's about acknowledging that while we may face difficulties and hardships, we are never alone in these challenges. The strength we draw from God is a wellspring of resilience flowing within us and enabling us to overcome any barrier. It's a testament to the unshakable support and enduring power that we have access to through our faith. As we continue to navigate the journey of life, let us do so with the assurance that the strength we need is always available to us, generously provided by a loving and powerful God. My dear friends, let us hold close the understanding that God is always with us. He is our guide through the darkest nights, our source of strength in the face of adversity, and our constant companion through every step of life's journey. 
Our exploration today affirms that God's presence, guidance, and strength are ever-present in our lives. They are the compass that directs us, the shield that protects us, and the light that illuminates our path. Even in moments when we might feel alone or uncertain, let us remember that God's presence is as sure as the ground beneath our feet and the sky above our heads. His guidance is the map that helps us navigate through life's challenges, and His strength is the anchor that keeps us steady in turbulent seas. With this knowledge and faith, let us move forward, embracing each day with confidence and hope, knowing that God is always standing by us. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, I come before you with a heart full of praise and thanksgiving. You are the Creator of all, the Eternal King, and the Source of all life. Your majesty and glory surpass all understanding. I praise you, Lord, for you are mighty, and your steadfast love endures forever. You are the unchanging light in our lives and the solid rock on which we stand. Lord, I thank you for your endless blessings, for the breath of life, and for your presence that surrounds me. Thank you for being my guide, my strength, and my protector. Thank you for your promises to strengthen me, help me, and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins. Cleanse me with your grace and guide me in the path of righteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your peace and love. Lord, as I navigate through life, let me always feel your guiding presence, leading me along the right path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare victory over every challenge I face. I rebuke any form of attack from the enemy. I bind every spirit of fear, doubt, anxiety, and confusion. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. I ask for your healing touch upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. Heal our bodies, minds, and spirits, and let your power manifest in our lives. Lord, I pray for your protection over us. Guard us from harm and shield us from the snares of the enemy. Lead us away from temptation. I pray for blessings upon our lives. Bless our homes, the work of our hands, and our relationships. I ask for your daily provision in our lives, trusting in your promise to meet all our needs according to your riches and glory. Grant us our daily bread and sustain us with your grace and abundance each day. Let your favor and grace follow us in all that we do. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, Lord, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your guidance, strength, and love to be evident in our lives. As we face life's challenges, help us to remember that you are always with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and let your light shine through us. Lord, we claim victory in your name. We speak life and health into every part of our being, trusting in your miraculous power to renew and heal. May every broken spirit be mended, every physical ailment be healed, and every troubled mind find peace in your loving embrace. We give thanks for your protection and guidance. Cover us with your grace and love. May your divine peace settle deep within us, calming our anxieties, soothing our fears, and providing a steadfast anchor in the midst of life storms. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones, as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited, and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith 
irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust and decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith, grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about His perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course, even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's Ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. 
God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often mean stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's calm, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20 verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging, 
as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number six, persevering in faith despite challenges. The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number seven, walking in faith, not by sight. The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown, trusting in God's word, sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. 
Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen.